I'm pretty much a kitten 24-7. So, um, when you're near catnip, will you get high? So what's up everyone, welcome back to another video on Max Commentate. So today I found this video, my girlfriend identifies as a cat, love don't judge, by truly. Of course it's a truly video, so yeah, you heard the title. This is gonna be weird guys, enjoy the stupidity and the cringe, I don't know. This is Abigail, she fell in love with Adam. When she first walked into the room, it just kind of starstruck. I was like, oh wow, she's gorgeous. But their relationship isn't like everyone else's. I'm pretty much a kitten 24-7. She usually just hangs out in her little cat bed. You're not really anywhere else, um, which is okay. Come on, look at her. She can't even fit in the cat bed. And look at the little kitten in the foreground. So you mean to tell me that the actual kitten is sleeping with your man lady? <laughs> what the fuck? When he gives me head pats, I get kind of like wiggly and excited. Don't do that! <laughs> Due to the unusual nature of their relationship, many haven't responded well to their dynamic. The reactions I get online tend to go two ways. That makes me very uncomfortable. Well, I didn't expect to cry. My first encounter of Adam was his Facebook dating profile. He was covered head to toe in car oil, and it intrigued me, so I swiped and I wanted to see more about him, and I had to meet him. Would you like a cup? Yeah. Honestly, when she first walked into the room, it just kind of starstruck. I was like, oh wow, look at her. Jeez, she's gorgeous. Hmm, those first impressions, huh? Yeah, wait a little bit until you find out you need to be feeding her cat food every morning. Uh, would you get the creamer out of the fridge for me? And then she was a little awkward at first, so I quickly got attracted to uh, just wanting to see what more I was going to experience with her. Playing hard to get now, I see how it is, little kitty. Very good girl. She take a seat. We've been together for about a year and a half. Whoa, a year and a half? How the fuck does he stand you a year and a half in a kitten bed, like? Not long into their relationship, Abigail and Adam realized they both had a preference for all things feline. Abigail enjoyed being a kitten, and Adam enjoyed being a kitten caregiver. Bruh. I guess you can say they both got the perfect fit for each other, but I still think it's hella weird, you know. I'm about to spill it. I'm not gonna spill it. I'm pretty much a kitten 24 7. I wear my ears to work. When I realized I was a kitten, I was 16 or 17. 16 years old? I see. Now you didn't grow out of being an immature teenager. I see how it is. When I first started wearing ears, I don't think I thought anything of it. I definitely felt more confident when I had them on. I love kitten play because it's kind of just my natural personality and what I like from a relationship. Kitten. Yeah. Come. So being a kitten and having a caretaker is just really natural for me. Wait a minute. Since when can kittens play with Nintendo Switch lights? I mean. Do I need to get my kitten in Nintendo Switch Lite? Will my kitten now want to be playing Super Kitty Odyssey with me? Like, no, I'm not doing that. But I would beat her ass in Super Smash Bros Ultimate, if you know what I mean. I like having Adam as a caregiver because he's the first presence I've been around that I've dated that I don't feel judgment from. The poor guys be like, what the fuck? Don't do that! <laughs> so kitten play, I put it into two categories. One of being lifestyle, and one of being more like bedroom activity. For me, it doesn't ever really lead to that. It's kind of just our day-to-day -day life. That's my personality. But there are additional complexities at play in their relationship. For me, I've never really been attracted to people in a sexual standpoint. So in the simplest terms, asexuality is just lack of sexual attraction. So aces can still have a sex drive, they can still have libido. They just don't feel sexually attracted to the people they might be interacting with. You know what, if you see a cat massaging a plastic bag, it wants to sexually arouse the bag, so you may need to start doing it too, if you want to be a real cat, you know. <laughs> the first time Abigail actually ever told me she was asexual, I believe it was our second date, and I was like, huh, that's different, that's strange, because I'm actually a very, very sexually natured person. Bro must have been like, Oh fuck, I need to get out of here immediately. But he must have already been at the point of no return, so you're done, mate. You're done. So that kind of threw me off a little bit. But I like so into her personality and so intrigued by her and wanting to learn about her that I didn't even care. Like I didn't need that at that point and I was fine with giving it up for her. 
I mean, sure, good strategy by her to pretend to be a kid then to hide the fact that she's asexual. But I mean, uh, no, I, I, I'm. Are you getting hungry? A little bit. I want to see. I like to think I'm a 24/7 kitten because I flow in and out of it so effortlessly. I don't really have to think about it. Hungry. Is a fish. Is a fish. Yeah, no, I think I, I can't take it anymore. It, it's pretty boring from now on. I watch the video. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Do not turn into a fucking cat. Also, follow my Twitter and Instagram at MaxComentH. And I'll see you guys later with more bangers. Peace.